What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. For this Halloween special, I've got three cheap and easy effects that's gonna help you guys out, make your videos a lot more creepy and scary to your audience. Let's get into it. Halloween is probably one of my favorite holidays. There's just something about scaring people that I think is super fun. Today we're diving into three easy effects to help make your guys' videos a lot more scary. The first effect is inspired by David Sandberg's Lights Out. It's a really good short film. He actually even made it to a full feature film. I will have the link for the short film in the description below. If you have not seen it, I highly recommend it. Step number one is I recorded me acting it out, picking up the remote, leaving the camera recording, not touching it, and then I went to the hallway acted out just standing there being a little bit creepy i had a mask i think from last year that i put on just to make the outline of my body a little bit different once i got my footage inside davinci resolve i stacked the two clips on top of themselves roughly kind of lining it up where i knew i needed to be then i went to the color page and i went on ahead and darkened that top clip so it kind of looked like the light was shutting off even though it wasn't i then went inside fusion and i went on ahead and masked around that top clip that way it was just just the door frame inside there, nothing else. I did feather it a little bit so it blended a little better. I got back into the edit page and then I just cut to where I needed it to be anytime I turn the remote on and off. Anytime I've got keyframes like that and the camera's been on a tripod, I'm normally gonna add handheld effect on top of it. DaVinci Resolve has a great one built in and you can really change it if you want it to be really strong handheld or very subtle. Something that will help you guys out with this effect is making sure you shoot a long enough or multiple takes of it. Experience especially if you're standing by the door, you want a good 30 seconds to a minute, depending on how long this effect is gonna be, so you have a lot to choose from. Creepy effect number two is the ghost floating. So I went on ahead and shot me holding this cheap dollar ghost that my wife had hanging downstairs. It would work a little bit easier if it was straight fishing line and to the head, but I just grabbed it from where I could. It wasn't a big deal. Uh, and then I wound up leaving the camera again on a tripod, getting a clean plate, which if any of you guys don't know what a clean plate is, you're just filming for a while. Don't take a picture because sometimes your cameras, if not every camera, has some kind of noise introduced into it. And if you pause it, all that noise stops. So I do recommend getting a lot of a clean plate before you would finish your scene out. Once inside DaVinci Resolve, I stacked the two clips on top of themselves. I then went into the color page and I actually used a power window to mask around the ghost. It's really easy. If you guys have not seen any of my tutorials on masks or power windows, I will link some in the description below. I'm not gonna dive into a whole lot about that because I've hit that multiple times. I then tracked the power window by moving it every 10 or 15 frames, adding a key frame I didn't use the automatic tracker because sometimes it does not work so I added a keyframe went 10 or 15 frames in added another keyframe rinse rather repeat the last thing I did to sell the effect that it's kind of more see-through is I just turned the blend mode down a little bit I think around 50% just so there's a little bit of bleed through through the ghost and it looks a little bit more transparent and the final effect actually looked pretty good of course this is a very cheesy effect but again it's not that hard to do and if you're trying to go with that kind of spooky funny genre this would work really well for that the third scary scene did not require any effects on top of it at all in post a lot of this i picked up at the store first off i just used my normal hallway and it did not look great from the beginning so i just went up to walmart i grabbed some cheap plastic that you would use to lay down i mean it was like maybe three dollars for a bunch of rolls of this stuff i hung this stuff up because i got the vibe that if this place was being renovated or more empty it's a little bit more creepy there's something about not being able to see for sure what's in the next room i went for a super stylized lighting setup by adding really rgb colors the saving grace was taking the aperture mc light and actually hooking it to the ceiling in the hallway and i was gonna go more with a flickery bulb i actually just wound up going with the red because i thought it pushed my stylized effect that mc and being able to connect it to their app is phenomenal it really gave me a lot of room to play around 
around and fine tune it. Now, of course, I did spend around 30 to 40 bucks on this mask that I picked up from a Halloween spirit store. Uh, you could probably get some a lot cheaper, but I wanted one that wrapped around my whole face. I also got a whole bunch of really old business attire from the thrift store months ago. So it really kind of completed this just offsetting feel to this creepy monster wearing a suit jacket. With a couple of takes of me moving around and being all kinds of awkward, it actually turned out really good. That lighting really pushed it to a very stylized look that I was going for. And of course the mask helped. Now again, you could do this a lot cheaper. You could just have a hooded figure. I could even spice it up even more if I wanted to and load it in Resolve and track the eyes, make them glow. Any of those effects would sell it even more to really fit that creepy vibe. There you go, guys. That's three different ways to spice up your videos and make them a little bit more creepy. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up, drop a comment below. Let me know what are you doing this Halloween? Are you going out and getting candy? Are you just staying home and bench watching all this creepy movies and eating all your kids candy? What are you doing? I'd love to know. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already with the bell notification on so you don't miss any of my new videos. You guys are amazing. I'm the Iron Giant. I'll see you next time. Peace. Happy Halloween.